I have to vacate this room because my sister is coming back right now. And I do like my sister, I just prefer her room. <laughs> and would you look at what date and time it is. It's Christmas Day. So happy holidays. Oh, she's here already. Answering it! Who is this? Who's this? You're not allowed in. Welcome, my soul. Hello. Hello. Merry Good to Christmas. See you. Merry Christmas. Hi, how are you? <laughs> are you just dropping off all your crap and then leaving? Yeah, and then leaving again. Okay, you're not allowed to look in your room. I have to look in my room. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, no, you're fine. It's just I've got crap all over your room. Yeah, that's okay. Don't worry. I'm clearing it out now. Sure, I have more crap to add to it. All right, we got something going here. But what we don't have is a chair. Okay, so this, this is an external hard drive, all right? It's got two terabytes of storage. While I was traveling, I had one hard drive at the time, at the very beginning, and I knew that was gonna be a problem, especially once I started, once I kept uploading more and more um, content onto the hard drive itself. So I, I pretty much, at a very crucial point, invested in this second hard drive. Why was it at a crucial point? Because the other hard drive broke. It's not just some weird, oddly shaped sock. It is, in fact, the first hard drive that I left with. This had about, let's say, a hundred and a, or 150 gigabytes of footage from the first two months of my travels in the States. If you see here, and you see right there, that's a tiny dent. But that unfortunately broke this hard drive. And I'll show you to what extent I tried to prevent those different things from happening. This hard drive went in bubble wrap. It went in that sock you just saw wrapped up in this, put into this, double wrapped in a Ziploc bag to protect against moisture and to waterproof it. Now just before that hard drive broke, I was lucky enough and smart enough to back my footage up. But there's a problem a bit with that too. The problem is that the hard drive that I actually backed it up onto wasn't my own. It wasn't the new one. I actually didn't have it just at this stage and that hard drive is now in Australia. It was sent about a week and a half ago to my address in Ireland and soon it will be here. And once that hard drive arrives, then the traveling videos are gonna begin and we can get into that story. But for right now, I'm gonna be doing daily vlogs and teasing at the videos that are going to come. And you will duly be let know when that hard drive arrives and when these, when the vlogumentary of my travels can begin. But carrying around a load of footage that just keeps accumulating and accumulating all the time and you've nowhere to back it up and you know that if the thing breaks, it's all gone. That became such a stress. There was one time we got stuck in a storm and I really, really hate rain and our tent isn't waterproof and, and neither are we neither are we yeah and neither <laughs> are our cameras and our phones and our books we set up camp and in our tent there was pools and pools of water running everywhere and i was just holding on to my hard drive 
to all the electronic equipment right on the top of my chest, hoping, just hoping, that they wouldn't get water damaged. Moral of the story, if you're going to go traveling and you want to take a lot of footage and make some videos, then what you should probably do is bring your laptop and edit them and do them as you're going, rather than having a massive onslaught of footage to look forward to right at the very end. Yes, I'm really excited to get started on them, on the, on the videos. But there are way too many things that can go wrong with hard drives and with SD cards. You can break them and you can lose them. Yo, yo, Max. There you go, is that tasty? Yeah, I've got a female lizard whose name is Max. Just one of those things that happens. I totally forgot to wrap some presents for my parents. I'm not a bad son, I swear. No, 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 no. This is a problem with my phone. It keeps ringing people by randomly. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Yeah, I see that last night my phone called a Mexican number. Baby Alan, baby Allender candle. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with me? Baby animal calendar. I know, mum, you're gonna love this. This wrapping paper job has been absolutely, it's just, I did a menacing job on this. It's terrible, but I'll do. Are you excited for the Christmas, Max? Oh, there you are. Hello, Rachel. How are you? Not so good after you stole my office. I didn't steal your office. Yeah, you did. You totally ransacked my office. I'll come over here to claim it again. My... space. Lovely bedroom with Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. And my little brother came in and wrecked it, and that's why I beat him to a pulp, and that's why he's lying on the ground. <laughs> I've been locked out for about five minutes now, I'm just going to. Are you going to get up anytime soon so I can go to sleep? No, this is my, my room. <laughs> <laughs> you actually blend in perfectly. It's You're hard. so green. Green with envy from my room. <laughs> <laughs> you looking forward to Santa? I'm so excited. This is good. Well, good night. Good night. Sleep tight with your Marilyn Monroe. My Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, exactly. Well, I hope everyone had a good Christmas, but Christmas is tomorrow for me. So please press the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you're new. Also, you should maybe press that bell button as well so that your the subscription actually gets notified when I put up a new video. Alright, peace out or whatever.